Jalen Ingram. And uh, our first two questions will come from Palmer Toms and Ryan Curley. Yeah, Jalen, Jabri was mentioning that during the whole recruiting process or the, the recruiting process out of the transfer portal, Coach Crean was, uh, you know, selling this idea of what he's building here at Georgia. Um, what exactly is that and how do you do you think you fit into that as a transfer? Um, well, he really doesn't have any limits on guys. Uh, he wants guys to come in and put in a lot of work, uh, develop their games to the best of their abilities and uh, really just let everyone play free and fast. Um, I'm speaking for myself, but I'm sure I can speak for everybody on the team as well. Um, Coach Cream wants to play fast and shoot a lot of threes, get a lot of layups, and um, I'm, I'm sure that is something that everyone wants to do. Jalen, if my math is right, there's 10 new faces on this team, five old ones. How's the gelling process going over this off season, over the exhibition? What do you, what have you guys been doing to come together and make it feel like a group of guys that, that is not just new together. Yeah, at first it was um, awkward just knowing you're in a place where you don't know anyone. Uh, but as time went on, we started to work out with each other, started building bonds, started uh, learning history from each each every each and every guy, um, and just started hanging, off, hanging out with each other off the court. Um, some of us may have classes together. We may stay in the same dorms and things like that. So, you know, we just kind of gel like that. Obviously, we still have to work. But um, I definitely say over this summer and this off season, we've been able to uh, build somewhat of a chemistry. Let's go to Mike Griffith and then Anthony Dasher. Uh, yeah, Jalen, it looks like you've got some experience against Florida International last year. Uh, looks like a pretty lopsided basketball game, uh, thirty-three point halftime lead. What, what, what can you tell us about this Florida International team that you can recall from last year? Um, they're a big run and jump team. Um, they definitely try to take advantage of that, uh, speed teams up and turn them over. Uh, they also like to play fast on offense. Uh, they have a, a, a fast pace. Uh, they like to shoot a lot of threes, get up and down the court, uh, similar to how we play here at UGA. So it's definitely going to be an exciting game. Is that, is that, uh, and forgive me for not knowing my, um, my regional rivalries there, but is, is that a, is that a rivalry between Florida Atlantic and Florida? How close are those campuses and what's that uh, culture like down there? Yeah, the um, campuses are about an hour apart. That's definitely uh, the biggest rival down there. Um, FIU is in Miami, uh, FAU is in Boca Raton. So uh, that, that, that crowd for uh, football, basketball is always packed. You know, it's going to be a good game when those two play each other. Hey, Jalen, good to talk with you again. Uh, I just wonder what it was like for you kind of being back home, so to speak, uh, after being away for all these years, just up, up the road in Madison. I have a lot of family members here the other night. Yeah, um, it's definitely exciting. Uh, over the last five, six years, you know, my a lot of my family haven't been able to make the trip down to uh, Boca to see me play. Um, it's about like a nine, nine and a half hour drive. So they really, didn't, they really weren't able to come to a lot of games. Um, but now knowing like, I stay right down the road, um, 25 minutes. You know, they definitely try to make each and every game. And uh, I could say I had a lot of people in the uh, gym the other night. Let's go to Mark Weiser and then Chip Towers. Jalen, since you became a Georgia basketball player, how many times do you think you've been back home to Madison? And when you were growing up there, did you did you want to play for the Bulldogs? Uh, you know, did you hope for an opportunity like that? Uh, yeah, well, since I've been back, um, I usually go home every weekend uh, on the off days on Sundays, just uh, to show my face and hang out a little bit because during the week, we're extremely busy with school and practice and works and workouts and things like that. And uh, yeah, growing up, I feel like every kid from Madison, you have some dream of attending EJ, whether that's on an athletic scholarship or just an academic scholarship. So um, I never thought it would, I never thought that it would happen. But um, once I had a chance, it was hard to turn it down. Yeah, Jayla, this may be hard for you to answer because you're in the moment, you know, and you're a player. But I just wonder in college basketball, I mean, this is not unique to Georgia that, you know, seven transfers came in, you know, 10 newcomers. If you look across the SEC and across the country, that's that's not uncommon on a lot of these rosters. As a, I have really haven't heard a player's perspective on that. Are, are there concerns about them being so much movement and not staying in one place and kind of, building something over time or is this just you know this is the freedom of the united states of america and you just got to do what you got to do 
Yeah, I think at first everyone kind of had questions and uh, they were hesitant about a lot of things, but um, you just got to have belief in the coach and what he's trying to do. Like I had a lot of talks with Cream. He told me where he's trying to take this team, uh, how I'll fit in, what's my value on the team. And I really I really uh, grasped that that information that he was giving me. And uh, just knowing how I am, I'm a veteran. I felt like I could come in and help change the culture, you know, get, get to some of the new guys and newer guys and uh, younger guys and just jail as one and uh, basically get this thing going how he wants and how he sees fit. Thank you. Let's go to uh, let's go to Catherine Lewis and then Vance Levy. Yeah, I know you already touched on this a little bit already, but how does that meshing on a new team transfer onto the court, and is that something that you see improving over the season in terms of playing basketball? Yeah, it's it's tough. Um, obviously, like you know, we we've been meshing in practice, um, but once you get on the court, it's it's totally different. You know. Um, Guys feel like they have to do a certain thing or, you know, they overthink the whole game. So it's definitely tough with these exhibitions, and I think that's what we've seen so far. But um, with each exhibition, we've got better. We're starting to find our identity as individuals and as a team. So I think as, as more the more we play against actual live opponents instead of one another in practice, we'll be able to mesh a little bit better and the chemistry will get better. Uh, looking at your stats, uh, clearly – you like to score, but you also like to grab your fair share of rebounds. Talk about that portion of your game and how you think that's going to help your teammates sort of seeing the value of doing all, all the things that make for good basketball players. Yeah, I just feel like um, yeah, every night you may, you may be lacking in one category. Uh, so you got to find a way to stay on the court. Um, the other night my shot wasn't falling but I knew that we needed to rebound. Uh, I needed to distribute the ball. So just find a value in every other thing and not just focusing on one thing and just stand on the court and help my team out in any way. And let's take one final question from Jack Matheson. Hey, Jalen. Um, so I just wanted to ask you, uh, what do you think, like, who do you, who would you say that you kind of model your game after if there's a former or current uh, Georgia or NBA player? Um, well, I, I like to watch a lot of Chris Middleton. Um, he's just a guy that does everything that he needs for the team. He's not consumed in one thing. Uh, the team needs him to score, he'll score. They need him to defend, he'll defend, uh, rebound, uh, distribute the ball, et cetera. So um, just watching his game, you know, he's very humble, um, but he, he like a hard, a hard working guy. Um, and that's who I basically model my game on. Okay, Jalen, thank you for your time and good luck in tomorrow's game. All right, thank you.